In today's video, I want to show you how to achieve these two styles with just the text module in the Divi Theme Builder. So we're not going to be using any other modules. This is purely the Divi Theme Builder. Let me show you how we achieve this. So first of all, let's delete this and start from scratch. So I'm going to start off by clicking here on this plus button and add two equal columns. And then over here on the left, we're going to add our text module. So I'm going to search for it and then select it. Next, we're going to enter our text in here like that. But what we're going to do a bit different here is to add the top line here as our heading. So I'm just going to delete that and then highlight it and set this to heading one. So the bottom here is going to be the paragraph, but we may need to add a bit more here. And that looks much better. And then over here on the text, uh, let's just capitalize every word here like that. And the next step now is to center everything. So I'm going to highlight the heading and the paragraph text and center it like that. Okay, so the next step here is to add the image in the background and also add a background color. So we're gonna scroll down all the way here to background, click here on the third tab, and then we're gonna click on this plus button. Next, we're gonna choose our image. So I'm gonna go with this one here and then click upload image. Great, so as we can see our background image and our text does not have any contrast, so it's going to make it very, very difficult for anyone to read this. The second problem we have is our text is way too close to the edges, and we are going to first address the, contra the contrast issue right now. So let's head over here now to our background color, and we're going to choose black. Next, we're going to come over here to our image and change the image blend mode. So I'm going to click here and then choose multiply. So what we need to do next is to head over back to our background color here click anywhere in here and then click over here and drag to add our transparency. So as you can see, I'm dragging, dragging this down and I'm starting to see my image. So the more I do it, the more it's going to reveal my image, but we don't want that. We want this to be around about 0.7 because we don't want this to be too dark, neither do we want it too light. Okay, so we just want to make sure that we have enough contrast. So before we can go in and start adding colors to our text, Let's address the issue of the padding. So we're going to come over here to design and then go to spacing. So I want to start off with 16%. Now, the reason why I'm using percentages here is it scales down really well in the different mobile views. I'm also going to do the same for the left and right like that. Pretty much this is looking really, really cool. Let me save this and let me see what it looks like. Yes, I think I'm happy with that. Okay, so let's go back in and uh, start changing our colors here for our text. So I'm going to click here on this paintbrush icon and I'm going to choose my color. So I'm going to go with this one here. There's enough contrast in that. It's very easy to read. But because my paragraph text here is slightly smaller, we are going to need a lighter text, I mean color. So I'm going to click here on this one. And that I think has solved my issue. So already we have um, resolved the two issues, the image and also the spacing around. But let's take a look and see what this looks like when this is uh, in different mobile views. Okay, so we are here on the padding because that's where we've added the 16%. I'm gonna click on this little icon here and go to the tablet. So on the tablet, eh, I'm okay with that. It's not too bad. Let's take a look at the uh, phone. So here I can see that uh, the padding is okay, but my heading text is not okay. So we need to adjust that. So I'm gonna click here on this paintbrush icon. Now what you need to do here is to make sure you're on the right item. So I'm gonna come over here to heading text size and make sure I click on this little icon and the phone is activated. So this is where I can just now reduce the size and already you can see here that looks much better. So I'm gonna go with 34 and the padding around my item is brilliant. So I can now go ahead and save. Now there's several items that we can do here. We can add some animation on hover. Uh, we can also link this to you know, a page on our website. So there's quite a lot we can do. Now let me show you how to do that. So the first thing is, if you wanted to link the whole thing, you'd come over here and then come over here to link. And this is where you'd add your module URL. So I wanna add a fake one here. And already that has now been turned into a clickable item. And let's say we want to add some animation to this. You'd come over here to design, transform. And I'm going to add sort of like a zoom effect on hover. And I want this on hover, as I mentioned. So I'm gonna click on this little icon here. Select that and make sure you click on hover. And then we can just increase this just slightly. 
usually I go with um, an increment of 2% because you don't want to make this too much. Otherwise, it's not going to look great. So we're going to save this now and exit the Visual Builder and test and see if this is working. And sure enough, you see that? That is working. And this is just a text module. Okay, so let's create a different version here because this one is the dark version. There are cases may, where you may want to have the lighter version. Okay, so let me show you how to do that. We're going to come back over here. So let's duplicate this. Save us a lot of time. And now let's work on the light version. So I'm going to click on this gear icon. Now on the background here, we need to change the color. So we want to add, say, white. And as you can see here, our text and our background color does not work well, but we are going to address this in a moment. So over here now on the image, we need to scroll down and change our background image blend. This time it needs to be lightened. And again, this now has covered the whole thing in white. So now let's go back over here to our main background color. We're going to click anywhere in here and drag the slider down until we start seeing the image. And you can see there slowly, slowly it's coming to life. And there it is. Okay. So we want to make this very, very subtle. Okay. And then over here now, let's start working with our text. So I'm going to go with maybe that should, that should work. Or let's try this one here. And then for our text color, I think that works too. So that now is our final design. But we can also add some gradients if we needed to here. So let me show you how to do that. Come all the way down here to our content, background. So this time, instead of having a color, let's delete that. Let's add a background. So I'm going to click here on background. Click on this plus button. And already you can see here we have a really cool style here based on what we have. Now, what we need is to have... Oh, in fact, you know what? Let's head over here because we need to make sure that our image blend is set correctly. So let's start here with normal. Then we're going to go back to our gradient. So what is important here to start seeing everything working, you need to place the gradient above the background image. Okay, so let's do that. So again, you can see here that we can't really see the image. That is because we need to add a bit of transparency to both of uh, these colors. So the first color here, you can just click on that, start dragging it. And now we can start to see the image there. On the second color, you can change the color to whatever you want. So we could go with that. We could even go with white. So it's up to you what color you need, you want to uh, use here for this design. But you just have to make sure that your contrast here is really, really good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play around with my colors here. Let's go with this. And then over here, we're going to do the same. I'm going to choose our color. But we're going to add more transparency onto this color here. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And if you see that your gradient here is uh, too far down, no problem. Just click here and start dragging it. Okay, so now you can see as I'm dragging this to about 86, it's full at the bottom here. There's less transparency and then it continues up. So this is what you can achieve with just a text module. If you want to learn how to design professional looking websites, I have a course. It's absolutely free. The link to that is in the video description below. Go ahead and roll and start learning how to design professional looking websites. Until next time, thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the thumbs up. See you in the next one. Take care.